Oh, hello there. This is the second to last episode of What's Happening Now this year. It means it's the last time I'm anchoring until next year. I'm Bennett, and that's Jack. Let's get right into it. Last Wednesday, a man claimed to be Timothy Pitson, a boy who had been missing for nearly eight years after his mother took him on a road trip, then committed suicide, leaving a note saying that no one would find him. The man was identified as Brian Reaney, who now faces up to eight years in prison for making false statements to a federal agent. And last week, the Ukrainian an event reminiscent of Y2K occurred last Saturday when the satellites that orbit the Earth ran out of storage. The system on the satellites was designed in 1980 and kept track of time in weeks, but was only given enough storage to keep track of 1,024 weeks. The count ended this year, setting it back to zero. However, the Air Force had been planning for the rollover for over two years, and just like Y2K, everything turned out all right. And finally, the most important presidential elections of the year are upon us. In Ukraine! Last week, Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko and candidate Volodymyr Zelensky both took drug and alcohol tests on live television ahead of a debate. In the first round of voting, Zelensky, who much like President Trump has no political background, took the lead with 31% of the votes. The second round of voting occurs on the 21st of April. And that's all we have for this week's episode of What's Happening Now. Tune in on May 9th for the very last episode of the year with Jack. Peace.